we are getting ready to have a party. Did how much Mosaka, mosaka. Tabuli. Kazi. Couscous. Bloody Mary bar. And he's made some special vodka. So pigs are us. Hi. My name is Sonia, and I'm a lifestyle blogger of lesshustlemorecoffee.com. I'm married to this guy, George, who's a great cook and a great guitar player. We live in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, and we have a cat named Little Bit, who's a little bit sweet and a little bit of a troublemaker. You never know what we're going to get into, but you know what? Life is good, and it's all about what you make it. At the end of the day, it's all about finding a life you love to live. So let's go. I'm downloading my Christmas present, Final Cut Pro. It's downloading. I hope it's not going to be too hard, <laughs> but I'm excited. Uh, I waited till February because January was busy and I knew it would be frustrating not to have time to play with it. So, Merry Christmas to me. Good morning. Today's hairstyle is brought to you by Big Rollers. But since I had to style it this morning, I didn't put on any makeup. <laughs> so, go figure. Today, it's supposed to be 64 degrees today. And then we get snow and ice coming later. I am so happy February is here. It's the love month. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's probably not on right, but just kind of trying to improve my skin and wrinkles and all that. One of my goals this year was to, <laughs> to try to improve my appearance. <clears throat> Don't even know if that's possible. Might as well have fun with it though, right? So I used this clarifying oatmeal and it's by a brand called Glam Up. Yeah, boy, we're doing that, right? What? I can't see. I gotta wear my glasses. <laughs> you gotta keep this on for like 20 to 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. I also went for a pedicure and got my nails done ready for Valentine's Day. And this morning's hairstyle is brought to you by Second Day Hair, A Rainy Day, and Chance of Icy Weather. And the icy weather did come. We had a system to come through, and that gave me an opportunity to work from home. And we also had a little um, <gasps> orb come through. Very interesting. It's a lot of trouble to work from home. <laughs> Oh, I have a suitcase full, and I'm about to get going here. Yeehaw! Okay, I'm getting plugged in here. Ready to go. Icy day. Now, I threw some laundry in. That's the good thing about working from home, is you can throw laundry in. It takes a lot of trouble to get everything plugged in, because... I have this suitcase back here because I have to bring half my office with me. It's full of tax files and all that kind of stuff. Don't you love my lips? Oh my gosh. Well, there's a few perks from working at home. Uh, you have spouse. <laughs> you have a spouse messing with you. You have a cat at your feet. And you get to work in your pajamas. <laughs> or nothing at all. If you read my blog at lesshustlemorecoffee.com, you'll know that my phrase for the year is embrace what is and forge forward. So let's keep that in mind. Today's hairstyle is brought to you by Moose, the 70s, and the fact that I need to go take mom's dog to the groomer and just crawled out of bed. After dropping Fancy off for grooming, we took mom to the flat tire diner. A wonderful, excellent breakfast, as recommended by friends. We finally got there. Uh, 
Okay, it's spa day for Fancy. This is Mama's dog having a good day, running Mom's errands and getting everything done. It's Saturday, yay. Say hi, Fancy. Say hi. <laughs> Did you have spa day today, Fancy? Did you have spa day? Did you have spa day? Yeah. We're at Houston's and I want to go in, but I'm sitting in the car. George and mom are in there. She needs um, some more meat for the freezer, maybe a roast. And so he's helping her pick that out. I we'll have a good spouse. He helps us out on mom Aaron's days sometimes, and he's game to hang out with us. And I appreciate that. So Fancy had her spa day today, and we've been to Bed Bath & Beyond, and We've gotten groceries. Fancy, you're so interested to tell everyone hello. She's worried about her mama. So, we're gonna go now. Meanwhile, in Texas, the grandson got him a little snowstorm too, and he's having fun. Today's hairstyle is brought to you by, it's Saturday, and I had an off day. So I used the rollers. Now for makeup. I love Saturdays. I was able to clean up my kitchen and make everything look sparkly clean and uh, just gotta love a Saturday when you finally get them. Let's pause just a moment in honor of Saturdays and time well spent at home. Yes, so nice. Well done. George and I stole away to Just Love Cafe in Mount Juliet for a little brunch. I also began learning Final Cut Pro. I was making some progress, and Mom had us over for roast beef that she bought at Houston's. Her home meals are so good. And I was so ready for spring that I started buying fake flowers and planting them all over the house. <laughs> It is such a pretty day today. It's February 11th and it's 67 degrees. I really just wanted to pop in because it is February 11th and I don't even know when the last time was that I actually did a video. I think I did a video of the cat and maybe one of downloading Final Cut Pro. We're gonna get to this point in the videos and there's not gonna be any footage for this part of the year. That's probably good because it'll help me catch up because I think I'm like six months behind on the videos and I never intended on it getting that far behind. But then every time we go through the holidays from like October through January, it just gets so stacked up. <laughs> I am really struggling as far as trying to find time to do um, just some personal things. We've just not been able to get out and do a lot of things. The weather's been crappy. You know, we were sick for part of it and then just work took up a lot of time. What spare time we had, you know, we have spent, you know, with mom hanging curtains and going shopping and doing various things. And, but I am looking forward to spring and I'm really hoping that we can adjust our schedules so that we can get some time to do our hobbies. And I'll just be honest with you, I've really, really struggled this winter. I'm looking forward to sun, some fun, and we have some trips booked. February came and it has been delightful in so many ways. Got a little bit of time back. Honestly, it's been enough time to just be frustrating. It's always time to do something else. I like to keep these videos upbeat, but I don't mind sharing with you that it's been a tough, it's kind of been a tough year actually, uh, but we've tried to have fun and we're gonna continue to have fun. We've got some fun things planned. We'll get out of this funk. I'm gonna take some vitamin D, some B complex. We're gonna make some good times happen. And we're gonna get adjusted on our time and we're gonna figure things out. And I gotta get back to work because I've been gone an hour. But you know what? I have worked a lot of hours this month. So if I'm a little bit late getting back from lunch, probably do it. So today's hairdo is brought to you by blogging because since I blogged too long, 
I didn't have time to do my hair. This growing out thing, I kind of like it because it does different every day. And usually you can get away with it. <laughs> January was impossible. February is full. Going to make it productive. Going to get done all those things that I couldn't get done in January. Did I say that before already? Hmm. George's sister Susan came over and we played past the pigs and had a great time. We also had a great Valentine's Day. George gave me some roses and we prepared a little dinner party for some of our really good friends. We made a charcuterie board. Check this out. We are getting ready to have a party. We're gonna do a, a Moroccan meal with some of our friends. And George has worked really hard for a couple of days pulling this meal together. Three. Oh, okay. Uh, four, maybe if you include going to the grocery store more than once. Hey there, there's Chef George getting ready for this party. And I've got the, the table all set. And what's that big thing in the middle there? We talked about that before. Tajine. Tajine. Sometime in a few hours, we'll be filling all these wonderful little pots with, with some good grub that George has come up with. So tell me a little bit about what what all you have for us? El habadid, mosaka, mosaka, tabuli, kaziki, couscous, butter. We're gonna have a big bowl of couscous. Couscous is actually gonna go in this little Christmas bowl here. We're gonna have spicy kefta with lemon, which is lamb meatballs and spicy sauce. I did manage to stick in my little bud vase of roses there. We have the tagine, which would be beef tagine with ginger, peas, sweet potatoes, and a ras al hana, which I probably mispronounced, but it's the spice that makes it Moroccan. Yeah, and we actually have a video of him making that. This is my china that I've had for a very long time. We're actually using a Christmas dish. And that's okay, even though it's February, because we actually have Christmas gifts. Doing a little bit of Christmasing today. And you have some other special things going on. Bloody in the Mary kitchen. Bar. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Bloody Mary Bar. So he has put together a fabulous Bloody Mary Bar. And he's made some special vodkas. So tell me a little bit about that. This is onion infused vodka, which one of my bar books said try that in a bloody mary and i did it's the best i've ever had in a bloody mary also made some ginger vodka some rosemary vodka some plain vodka back there then i tried some unusual things spiced rum which i generally despise is excellent in a bloody mary gives it a caribbean zine scotch which mixes with almost nothing at all is really good in a Bloody Mary. It gives it a smoky flavor. Awesome. You got uh, bourbon, which makes, actually it's called a Smoky Mary. I got some jalapeno vodka, which my aunt and uncle, Ken and Martha gave me. I got tequila and gin. And Sonia, who does not like Bloody Mary, is gonna get a tonic and vodka. Sounds good but to I'll, me. But wait, there's more. An excellent garnish for Bloody Mary is a moonshine pickle. 
<laughs> Gives it a little extra kick. Bitters, I got clam juice, I got rimmed glasses. Hey, those glasses are dirty. I think we need to wash those up. Nah, they got Bloody Mary for all. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> and then I've got a plates full of garnishes, which include shrimp, bacon, scallions, okra, several different kinds of olives, oh, heart of palm, heart of choke heart, all kind of good stuff. Yeah. To make like a restaurant Bloody Mary. <laughs> Pigs are us. <laughs> Snooky, it's Snooky. Snooky likes you. Ooh. <laughs> Be good to Snooky. Be friends. Be friends. You're gonna be friends with Snuggy. He's sweet. Snuggy sweet. Yeah. You're gonna hold hands. You're a sweet cat. Yes. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. You're gonna have to scoot over. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. I decided to come out and go walking today. I had lost. 30 pounds mainly because I improved my my eating habits and then the pandemic happened and we went to all the comfort food birthday celebrations we went all out and I just really need to start putting exercise first demands on life get tighter and tighter and time for self gets less and less it's just a beautiful day to go for a walk we need to do more of it today is February 20th I think not always this nice in February. Uh, anyway, on to have a good day. It's very important that we have some time to ourselves, not only for the physical activity, but for the mental health. B-L-O-G and the vlog V-L-O-G um, you know there's just some things just some goals that I have and some points that I want to reach and I just had to figure out how to get there you know so that I can channel my energies in the small time that I have and can have a bullet pointed list of bang 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 and then know you know what it is I want to do 
I'm gonna go through the car wash and use their little vacuum thingy. I spend so much time in my car and I just need to give it a little TLC. Then I gotta go to the grocery store and I'm gonna pick out some healthier choices for the week and just really, really need to have some time to myself. Today's hairstyle, oops, what's that? Is brought to you by the fact that I just put one big roller right here and then did the rest of my hair with this drying roller brush that actually straightens it out. Growing your hair out is something else. Just trying to be patient. I bought these little pins and barrettes and headbands, so I've just been doing different things with my hair. It's been kind of fun. So I have also been trying to work on my complexion a little bit um, where I'm comfortable not wearing makeup. Um, the pandemic kind of got me spoiled. And doing a mask once a week and a scrub and I really think that it's helping quite a bit. My skin is softer and it has more of a glow. I am using a filter right now. <laughs> um, but it's better, it's better. And as women, we have to learn to be comfortable in our own skin. So that's a goal of mine this year. Mm -hmm. 